it's Monday morning and last week I didn't vlog much at all because for most of the week there was nothing really happening. Actually, I take that back. There was a lot happening. It's just I couldn't film any of it. <laughs> um, we went to the movies, so we can't really, you know, take you there. Uh, we talked about that a little bit. But it was just like these menial tasks that had to be done last week. That is what's happening. As you can tell, I just hopped out of the shower. I'm about to do my makeup and then go to work for the week. Eh. Um, did you guys watch Super Bowl Sunday? I did not watch. I don't like football, so I don't really care. We ended up watching a couple TV shows and House with a Clock in Its Walls, which was entertaining, I have to say. Entertaining. But that is what's happening this week. There are going to be other videos coming out this week instead of just vlogs. We did quite a few um, other video types we filmed yesterday, so look out for those. It's Thursday morning and I realized that this vlog is going to be super short because we basically have filmed nothing. Um, so I decided I would just kind of talk to you while I was doing my makeup this morning instead. Um, I have already primed my face. I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy and the foundation is the Too Faced Do You foundation. I like it okay. I like the peach one better. And now I'm just going to powder using the flower uh, satin finishing powder which is I, I only use two now. I use this one or I use the Peach Perfect. But I just love this one so much because of how it has the the thing. So this week I am on call and that means that I basically have to be available for when anything arises, uh, any issues with the tickets, people can't get in the front gate for whatever reason, I have to be available to um, fix the issue. Um, we are pretty much on call every every 11, 12, 12 weeks. So it's not horrible. It's basically like, you know, every three months we have to do an on-call shift. So that's really not bad. Um, I usually, with the first, the first um, couple years that I was in the department, it was just me and two other people. And now, you know, we have 12. So that tells you how much we've blown up. But in the first year, I always was on call. Well, and then it was kind of a different system then too. We didn't, we only had to be on call during holidays. Now we have to be on call all the time. Um, and I would always get stuck doing some holiday or something. Um, last year, I only had to be on call during Halloween, which I really don't care about because we never do anything. And this next year, I only have to be on call during New Year's Eve holiday which is great because I don't do anything for New Year's anyway so I'm um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do next I need blush I think I'm gonna use the flower pot in PB1 sweet pea this is one of my favorites because it stays on pretty well so as far as the rest of our week when you know I work full-time so it's hard to get things done at night. Last night we went to Trader Joe's to get some food. We basically shop two different places. We shop at Publix, not Publix, sorry. We shop at Target and get like our basic staples, anything we might need. Um, and then at Trader Joe's we go and get more like meal specific things, snacks, um, it's just really like easy we can do it in like 30 minutes just get through the whole store and the prices are really good and we always find good things to eat there so um, it's easy to put together a meal especially a really healthy one all right now i'm looking at highlight let's do an old favorite today i'm gonna do mary luminizer um so that's what we did last night came home 
made dinner so like we had kind of a weird dinner last night um and you might think it was like very carb heavy but it actually wasn't so we got um this like sprouted grain pizza but it's not like not pizza dough but it's more like a flat like flatbread um it almost looked like a huge tortilla and it was very low in carb and then we made a pizza and then we got a spanakopita pie so we could have more veg on top of that so it was actually very good um that's what we made last night for dinner i'm going to prime my eyes using the mac paint pot and visually so after trader joe's last night we just came home and ate and watch TV and then I had to finish we had to finish our bedding because we were watching our bedding I know I'm having a really hard time like right now focusing on what I'm doing because I just woke up like legitimately just woke up um, some of you remember from a previous vlog um, I had talked about how Hamilton was here and it's only in our city until Sunday the 10th and I've been trying to get lottery tickets I really didn't expect it to get lottery tickets at all but I still do have I think five more performances where I could technically get lottery tickets so cross your fingers by this point of you guys watching this it would have been over um, I'm using the Too Faced Razzle, Razzle Dazzle Berry uh, palette I, I take this traveling with me all the time but I like love this uh, this is like one of, one of my favorite palettes ever um i do palettes in rotation so i will use a palette and then it will go back to the back of the the stack and then that way i use it everything once and if there's something that i don't like i will take it out of the rotation so what i usually do when i use this palette is i use this shade right here all over this shade in the crease i use this shade just to kind of deepen the crease a little bit and then i use this shade right here to uh put it on the lid so so yes no hamilton for me yet um i keep seeing pictures of all my friends online who are like i'm seeing hamilton and i'm like i'm so very jealous <laughs> um as far as other things that we were going to do travel vlog style uh, because i'm um on call I can't do anything this week, which is why this vlog is kind of, kind of like, well, you know, there's not a whole bunch happening. I do think that, that we do have some stuff coming up. Um, my friend Natasha is coming down in two Sundays to go to the parks. So we're going to do that. Um, that's on President's Day weekend and I'm... And Mardi Gras, which means that not only is it going to be busy because it's a holiday weekend, but also because um, there is a Mardi Gras concert. It's Dan and Shay. I don't know who that is. So we could get lucky and it won't be super crowded. But, you know, after working here for almost 10 years, I kind of know the trends of what's happening. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be crowded. So we have kind of a plan to avoid the craziness of Mardi Gras, which... You know, it's fun if you're the type of person who wants to get drunk, watch the parade, be around like a ton of other people like that. I just don't like crowds. Um, I've worked in theme parks all my life. Um, I, I worked my first theme park in high school and I am now 43. I'll be 43 this year. And I, so I'm really familiar with theme parks. I've worked at every Disney theme park in the United States except for Animal Kingdom. I've worked at Universal's parks here. I haven't in California. I've worked at a couple like dinky little uh, amusement parks in California. I've worked at also Par it's Paramount's Great America. It, it was another great I think it was something else before I worked there and then it like turned into Paramount's Great America. It might be something different now. I can't remember. That was up in um, San Jose, Santa Clara when I was growing up there. That's the one I worked at in high school. Um, so like I'm very familiar with the trends in the hospitality industry and theme parks. I, I know what's kind of coming. 
so yeah so I hope that like you know we can kind of work our way around it the the best way to deal with something like that is to have a plan if you don't have a plan and then you won't be able to do half the things you want to do this is my brow step I use the ColourPop brow pencil and I use a shade dope taupe and then I use the essence make me brow on top of that um, I did things kind of a little out of order because I was so distracted this morning usually I put on um, a specific setting spray before I start my eyes but I haven't done it yet I forgot to do it so I'll do it after my eyes it's really no big deal this is just a really quick thing that I do you know before I go to work it's like very minimal not like doesn't take me very long usually like 15 minutes, but I don't look like death when I wake in, walk in, you know? Okay, I'm gonna actually do the spray. Um, this is like my holy grail, the Pretties For Your Face Fix It Setting Spray um, by Fix It Felix is uh, on here. Usually what I'll do is I will spray this on before I do my my eye makeup. I'll put on my brows and then I'll, I'll do the face and then I'll spray it on. And then I'll do my eye makeup and then this has had a chance to set. This basically like makes everything meld together. It makes it very luminous. And then later on, right before I'm done, before I put on mascara, I'll do the Revolution Pro Fix, which will actually help keep everything in place in humidity. And here in Florida, that's very important. Because after all those weeks of being cold, it's now actually starting to get hot, so summer is coming. Um, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I just want to show you how I clean my brushes. Now, I do deep clean my brushes once a month, but after every use, I will take a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol and spray it on the brush and wipe it on a Huggies wipe. And that just keeps my brushes cleaner longer, um, so that if I don't have time to wash my brushes, like after a month, then they can still function for me. Right, let's go on to the eye step. I am using the NYX Epic Ink Liner and then on my eyelashes I'm actually using the BFF mascara from Colourpop and then on top of that the Their Real Benefit mascara and then on the bottom lash I'm using the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. I do need to get a small mirror. Actually I'll just use the one from here. If you guys want to see me do this every once in a while in, blog, in vlogs, let me know. Um, I do need to do a Get Ready With Me with another Pretties For Your Face palette that I forgot to do before, so I can do that. I don't wing my uh, liner out or anything, I just kind of do your basic lining of the upper lashes. Let that dry. Usually what happens while I let that dry is I'll put on my lip and so I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss and that is in the shade Fly Gal. It's very tiny. Um, so this lip gloss, I have been kind of digging like the lip gloss look lately. But my favorite gloss formula is um, Dose of Colors. But this is not bad for drugstore. I really can't beat the price. I'm not sure if you can still get this anymore because it came in that, um, it was like a, a collection where it was all about birds, like the Fantasy of Flight I think was the collection. And that's what I got that in, but I think you might be able to get that singly. Singularly, no. All right, let's do mascara. So Super Bowl Sunday was this past Sunday. I don't watch football, so we didn't watch it. We also don't really have TV. So if we wanted to watch it, we could have like tried to find it on one of the streaming channels on Roku, but we just decided not to. I think we ended up watching movies instead, which is perfectly fine. Really surprised Marshall's not up yet. He's usually up by now. Maybe he left already. Yeah, I think maybe he left already. He had to be at work at like nine, but usually he leaves right around eight. And it was like before eight when I came in here. 
A lot of people don't like this BFF ColourPop mascara because they say it flakes on them. And if I use it by itself, it totally does. And if I use, when I first started using it, it did. But now that I've been using it for a while, it's no longer as dry as it used to be. It actually doesn't flake on me at all, especially if I layer another mascara on top of it. It tends to be a lot better. Now, there's really no hope for me in my lashes because they are so short and stubby that I can't make them do anything. It, I literally don't look like I have lashes unless I'm wearing fake lashes and I just don't want to deal with that when I'm at work because I work with computers. I'm on a computer all day long, come home, still on a computer. So I just don't really want to deal with a false lash situation. So lately we've been thinking about like our business and how Facebook tends to be just really going downhill as far as engagement and being able to promote your business on Facebook, which I hate because I feel like, you know, our group is a really good place for us to post polls and give information, but if it's not working for sales or anything, we have to figure something else out. Um, I'm currently working with someone to build up my Instagram a little bit more. He's going to school for uh, social media. So he's actually helping me out with like ideas and ways that we can do our Instagram engagement a little bit better. So that might help, but I don't know what to do about the Facebook group. I feel like it's just very stagnant. Every time we try to improve on the crappy numbers we already have like we just we aren't getting it so I don't know I'm kind of very discouraged about online in general it might be a time that we have to just be like look we are doing a major overhaul but we still haven't really decided what we're gonna do for that but anyway this is my final look um, for today I have to finish getting ready 20 minute video in itself right now uh -huh. I have to go finish to get ready for work, so I will see you later. Hey guys, it's Friday night and it's mail time. So I decided I wanted to show you what I got in the mail. Especially because I didn't get that much this week, but um, I have a couple things from yesterday and a couple things from today. So let's start with yesterday. I got these Agrax um, from Amazon. The All three of these things are from Amazon. Um, what they are is they are for hard boiling eggs in the Instant Pot, which we have the crock pot version of the Instant Pot, but they do like sit on each other like this, and then you put the eggs in it, and then you put it in the Instant Pot and let them steam, um, which I really wanted to get one of these for us to use so that I can make eggs. So that's one thing. The second thing, Actually, the other two things I got are basically for the same purpose. So this is a kitchen scale. I can't believe it came in such a small package. It, it's like so thin. And this is what it looks like. The reason why I got a kitchen scale is because on my Instagram stories, I'm going to start baking bread. Um, even though I am trying to eat my blood sugar down, I'm trying to limit carbs, the whole process of homemaking the bread yourself means you have control over what goes in it, and it's more nutritious for you if you do it that way. So I am going to work through this Bread Making for Beginners book by um, Alchemy Bread is her Instagram handle. I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but I will link it down below. And what got me into this is that Jenna Fisher from The Office started working through the book and I just fell in love with the idea of being so connected to baking bread. And I used to have a bread maker in college. Um, I don't have it anymore. It got kind of banged up, but now I'm excited to kind of do it in my own kitchen. I also had to buy this, which is a bread, like a dough scraper. Um, you can also cut vegetables with it, but we're going to use it as a dough scraper. 
uh, so I can have that assist me with my bread making. And then today from Amazon, I got this, which I'm pretty sure is also something. Um, I'm buying things in like one week at a time. I'm buying a few things that I'm going to need. So I'm starting off with the basics and then working my way, um, working my way through the necessary things. Okay, yeah, so this is the bowl. A metal bowl that I bought off Amazon so that we can mix it in here. All we have is huge plastic bowls and I just really wanted something sturdy to mix my bread in so that's all of my bread stuff. The last thing I got is actually a... It's from a mess up. So I got an order from Pacifica in a previous vlog and they ended up giving me this mask when I ordered the serum so they had to send me the serum so this is the C C and C love vitamin ser serum which vitamin C and marine extracts I am so into vitamin C serums right now the one I'm currently using is the elf beauty shield which is fine um, I'm not hating it it's good I just like looking for other ones, so I am going to look, um, I got one in my Ipsy Luxe bag, I think it was, and then I got another one in the Kinder Box, which that video is coming, and then I got this one. So I've got three that I can use. This one is really, feels light, which I like. I think it's going to be very lightweight, so I'm excited to use that. And that is mail. So... We did get some other things in the mail, such as supplies and scents for the business, but I don't think you'd really be interested in that until we actually make sense with them. So tonight, hmm, tonight I'm going to try to get started on uh, all the things I need to for the weekend. I don't have to pick up Corey until 7 and it is now 5.45. I just got off work. So it's now 545. I gotta go pick him up in an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna work on some tasks for next week, getting some posts scheduled in different groups and whatnot. Um, and then I'm going to go pick him up and figure out dinner. And then probably get some more work done. <laughs> uh, I have a lot to do this weekend. I have a long list. Long list of stuff. Plus we're gonna make some uh, start production on a few things for the parties and also for one of the cons that we're doing in mid-March. So we want to get a head start on that. Um, originally, we were going to have a party this weekend at our house, but due to some, some things that came up, which I'll tell you in a second, uh, we decided to postpone our party. Um, and so this is what happened to us over the last week. And I've kind of kept this quiet because I'm still not 100% sure if this is going to pan out. But uh, here goes. So um, last Friday, a week from back from today, we Marshall and I went to go look at a house for rent that is about, it's like across the street from where he works. Now, if you remember, we told you that his bike got stolen. So he actually walks 20 to 30 minutes to work even though it's like a mile or two down the road um he has to walk over a very busy overpass uh into a mall area so where where we are looking at this place is in the mall area but it's like in a residential area it's very gated and quiet but you literally go right out the gate take a left and then you're right in like where he works like near the mall so the location is great because he can just walk to work, takes him like 10 minutes. He doesn't have to worry about me going to pick him up when he's too tired or anything like that. So it, it's great in the location. Um, the price is a little more expensive than what we're paying now and it's one less bedroom, but it's more space because even though we have four bedrooms in this apartment, we use one as an office and one is empty right now that we're kind of using to store things because we thought we were going to have someone move in with us, uh, but if all goes to plan, I mean, that might still happen, but I'll get there. 
So we went to go look at this place. Um, some of the features of the place is it has a two-car garage and it has like a double door fridge, which we've always wanted. It has a huge tub in the master bath. It has a huge walk-in closet in the master and Marshall would get a master in his room, which he doesn't currently have. Um, and we would have the garage in order to do production and then our office would go in the dining room area. Um, and then Corey's desk would go up in our walk-in closet because it's so huge. And then that way he would have room to work on his podcasts and things, his music that he needs, like a closed door space for, he would be using half the closet for that. And, um, there's like a separate chart. I mean, it's everything we would want in a place. Like we've always said we wanted to move into a house. This is a townhouse. But we never wanted to buy a house because we were never sure how long we were going to stay here. Our goal is to either move back to California or to move to Oregon or Washington, like move uh, to the Northwest. Um, because we just like it out there. We're Westerners, so <laughs> we don't really like the weather down here. Um, so we looked at this place and Marshall and I just stood in the place and we're like, we don't want to leave. We feel like this is our place. Like we've been looking for houses and apartments for a couple years trying to get out of this place. The rent is great. It's a Roach Motel. We hate it for that. I mean, we're always having to call the bug guy out to get things done and keep things clean, but the stupid roaches just keep coming back and it's ridiculous. And it's because of the people who live around us um, are not the cleanest from what the maintenance men tell us. Um, so when we saw this place, we were just like, we want it. But it's been really, it's been a hard process dealing with the real estate guy because apparently um, for rentals, they don't get much of a commission. They get more commission if they sell a house. So it's not really their priority to get the house rented. So we saw it on Friday and then we took Corey to go see it on Sunday. And then the realtor said that there was already an application in. So we started kind of panicking a little bit because we were like, ugh like this is the perfect place like it's the perfect location it's the perfect layout like everything so then we started looking at a couple other places in the same neighborhood and one of them was just hideous and we didn't like it at all um la uh, a couple nights ago we did get in contact with another woman who has a house in the same neighborhood for rent and it's about a uh, 50 dollars cheaper um, it only has a one car garage. We haven't seen it yet. We're going to go tomorrow to see it. But she is really receptive. She's not dealing with a broker. So she basically answers us all the time. Um, the plus about her place is that she has a front loading washer and dryer. M Marshall wouldn't get a walk in closet. So there's pros and cons to that place. But we're thinking it might be our plan B. Um, it's a totally different layout than the one that we were looking at here. Or our number one. And then there's another house that's up for rent across the street from the one that we like, um, which is the same floor plan. And that would be available in a couple weeks, but we're not sure if the owner will accept our cats or not for that one. So we're kind of like just hedging our bets, trying to figure out if we are going to move. We still haven't given notice to our apartment. We have to give them 60 days. And our plan is to give them 60 days and then move like gradually into the other place because it's legitimately five minutes down the road. So like keep moving into the other place and then at some point just move all of our stuff in over there. And then when our lease is up here, like we might not even be living here at that point, but when our lease is up here, then we're done. So we might be overlapping for a couple weeks and um, we're okay with that, but we just need to know if we're gonna get the get a place or not or we put in our 60 days um, Marshall and I were kind of going back and forth about whether we should just take the risk and do it, but I Don't know <laughs> What's happening? So we put in our application for the first place this morning because we finally got a hold of the realtor and like I said, we're going to go look at this other place um, on Saturday morning. So if you guys could just think about us, by the time this video goes up on Monday, we may have more of an idea of what it is that is going to happen, but then again, we might not. Um, so we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants. All I know is we really just 
love this place. We love the, oh, and the, the thing I didn't say is that because it's a three bedroom, what we're thinking is keeping that third bedroom open in case there's a need for someone to, to that someone who needs a place to live um, can rent a room um, with us. Um, this could either be someone who just has a need or it could be, you know, somebody that my brother's dating. We don't know who she is yet, <laughs> but that she could be her. We just don't know. Um, but we want to keep that option open. That's why we're not going to use the third bedroom as an office right away. Unless we decided to change that. Um, it was, it, I think the whole experience was just so great for us because we were able to go, yes, I know exactly where that's going to go in this house. I know exactly where this is going to go. I know how we're going to make this work. Oh, I forgot. There's also a porch, like a little porch backyard, which is also awesome because we don't have that. And that'll be great for taking pictures of our product. So that, I know I just took 13 minutes to explain all that, but you know, this vlog isn't very long this week I don't think so I hope you guys are having a good week and um, hopefully I'll talk to you tomorrow oh make sure you're you're also watching our Instagram stories because we are a lot more active over there we have a lot of other things going on there so it's super fun join us there